What's up everyone? Um, beautiful day out today. Um, today's video is going to be about uh, my brake module. Uh, if you guys saw me in my drag ship video, uh, when I went to drag ship on a P3 model, I told you guys towards the end of the video that I partnered up with Ximodex. Uh, we're going to get this repaired because the repair that I did apparently <laughs> didn't fix it. Uh, well, for it did for a few days, then it decided to have a mine on its own and it just started, you know, you clear the codes, it'd go away for a little bit and it comes right back. Uh, so because before I feel, because I actually, before I opened it and uh, f tried to fix the connections, um, the car, the second you start it, it popped up right away. Even if you clear the codes, it would like instantly come on. Now uh, you clear it, you have to drive for a little bit for it to come on. Um, I drove for two days, I think, and it be before it came on. And now, even if I clear it, it comes on after a little bit of driving. So it made it better, but it didn't fix it. So I kind of gave up. I didn't want to tear into it because I know they swapped the housing of, um, of this module right here. Uh, there's the module. There is your pump, the ABS pump. So you take the module off the pump. Um, I know that they, uh, they replaced the housing. So I'm pretty sure they take all the internals of that... Uh, module out and then uh put it in your box in, in a new box well i don't have that box so even if i was to able to tear it apart and find a problem and fix it i don't have a, a new box to put into so i contacted ximodex and uh, we partnered up and they agreed to fix it for me so uh we're gonna be i'm gonna show you guys how i took it off because when i took it off it was easy now literally like it's somebody super glued those bolts in there rounded out nothing like absolutely nothing i tried everything and i'm gonna let you guys know uh, exactly how i got it out today uh, i'm gonna have to grind down so i got a little dremel uh this guy right here i got this off amazon uh with a little attachment obviously you, you attach it to here and it makes it very easy to give you a bunch of attachments like these uh, i tried to use these little ones they didn't work they keep snapping on me so i use these bigger ones i'll include it in my video um uh, where i got this is super useful this is not cordless so this one works for hours and hours it's not the battery operated one because it dies even though probably good enough but i got this one technically i didn't even know it was with <laughs> with the cord i probably would have bought the cordless one but i don't regret getting it very nice tool uh helped me out a lot actually right now because literally there's no way of getting there besides this so i put this little round thing on there uh the little disc and i just grind it down carefully especially where the brake lines are uh i chipped it a little bit but i didn't cut it anything it, it threw it so anyways you just gotta carefully uh grind the bolts the top so the bolts off uh once you grind the top of the bolts off just slide the module out and then i'm probably gonna use some uh clamping pliers to take the bolts out of there but yeah it's been a pain uh, to get out right now. It's literally, last time it took me literally five minutes to get it out. Now with grinding the bolts, I've been probably struggling with that for maybe an hour. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep uh, trying to do it. I, um, I think I almost grinded off all the bolts. I'm gonna take it out and show you guys how it is. So if you guys look in the mirror right there, you see this, that bolt right there, I grinded it off. Uh, grinded off that one there. I don't know if you guys can see it and that one yep that one's done too so i just grinded the top of the bolts off so now i'm just gonna pry this out and then unclip this connector right there the main connector just release it and pop it off the module and i'm gonna package it and send it off to ximodex so yeah this is gonna be the last bit of me fixing this guy right here ah <sighs> boy uh this car kind of gave me quite a bit of headache right now at least it drives i've been driving it for since i fixed it since i assembled the engine i've been driving it to work it drives like a champ uh no issues after i fixed the module repair the module the, i mean the engine control module uh, you guys saw maybe the video that one has been fine since so I've, since i fixed that module it's been driving perfectly it's just this thing that's given me issues so once i fix this and then there's no more codes uh I don't know maybe we'll tune it maybe we're we'll i'll talk to a 60 rr or somebody who knows uh maybe we'll get some down pipes or in a cooler or something for it if i keep it we'll see some we may have some fun content on this car let me know in your comments below where you guys think i should do with this car if i should keep it and modify it 
because I mean I shimmed the engine it's fully rebuilt I mean this car has a transmission rebuilt in it it's automatic but it has a rebuilt transmission so it has a PCV system serviced like this car literally like all the services are almost pretty much done uh, so it's a good car it's a good daily maybe I'll just keep it as a daily it's a very fun car once I get it you know fixed all the way it's gonna be a blast and another another tool set that you guys will need well exact tools you're gonna need an e5 right there this is a lexivon right there that tool set i get awesome tool set i'll post a link to this tool set also from amazon that i got with the dremel this is an awesome tool it's like the star beats the e right there i don't know if you guys can see it let me show you a larger one like that like those right there those are that's these sockets i thought i had all of these but uh, apparently over the years they vanish people using them and all that and yeah so i got myself this set it's not that expensive i believe i believe it's like 15 bucks if i'm not mistaken but anyways i'll have the link to this tool set as well because you'll need these guy right here the e5 or just get this socket alone up to you guys okay so i grinded off the bolts and you just pry it off you gotta move the brake line a little bit in the back and like so i got it out and then to release this clip right here you just pry it pry on it right here i believe yeah right i think that's how i did it huh oh right here you just push on these tabs right here it literally says pull on the tabs i couldn't figure out which tabs but you just pull on these tabs and release it like that and that kind of pushes it out and there's your module that i showed you guys last time man <laughs> i kind of touched the the top of the case a little bit when i was grinding it out but uh yeah i damaged the case but uh, they're gonna replace the case anyways the inside i didn't get i didn't damage anything so whoo thank you lord uh but yeah this is it and here are oh look at that look at that they're loose are you kidding me right now like are you serious you gave me so much issues like <clears throat> don't tell me all of them are loose of course look at this would you look at this wow wow oh boy so that kind of tells me that somehow i don't know the caps got stuck to the case itself but either way it doesn't matter not nothing interesting but wow those are the three bolts so i'm gonna go and try to find some in some ace hardware or any hardware stores um when i receive the module back but yeah so that's how you get it out that's how you unplug it so i'm gonna put it back leave this car here it's just gonna stand stand here oh my goodness i almost fell tripped over my <laughs> my own lawnmower oh boy anyways this car is gonna be standing here for a few days i don't know how long they take maybe i don't know i'd have to look on the website probably a week or two uh to get repaired um so once i receive it i'll make a video and um uh, installing it after i install it uh maybe we'll do install and test drive in one video we'll see and then i'll give you maybe guys, you guys uh like a month update or something uh, and see how the ximod x repair actually works so yeah i'm really glad i got this these out i got the module out now i'm gonna package it up and uh send it out to ximod x so i forgot to tell you guys that uh before you guys take the module out make sure you scan your car Make sure you know what codes are in the car. Um, make sure there's no pump codes, you know, for the pump for or something like that. They say all the instructions on the Ximodex website. I'm gonna include that link underneath my uh, video uh, for the Ximodex, and you guys can see. And there's they just read the instructions how they tell you. Uh, include the codes with your module. Make sure you package it so they know. It will speed up the process a lot more. Uh, so yeah. Uh, make sure you guys include the codes once you remove a package and ship it to them obviously you pay for it and it'll ship, they'll send you a shipping label and then you just ship it out to them and uh, yeah they repair it uh, they're the masters at it I heard a lot of good things about them so 
I'm crossing my fingers they'll fix mine and uh, we'll do the install and test drive and then uh, probably like a month update of me driving it just to make sure it's good so um, stay tuned for that uh, thank you guys for watching this video this is gonna be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it I thought this would be somewhere informative but <laughs> especially when I ran into these issues and I had to grind these off uh, I had a friend Brendan uh, that uh, messaged me too he had to grind his off I think he, it was his first time removing it this is my second time the first time actually worked like a charm I took it out no problem the second time well guess what <laughs> I had to grind them down so anyways uh, I got that out and um, yeah we'll send it out so hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and as usual see you next time